guys if you want to learn how to create this simple yet cute looking animation then just keep on watching the video so to start off with you want to create your cute looking leaf for so so for that i am taking um a technical pen as the brush from inking brush set and i am picking up this really bright green color for my leaf now again it depends on you what type of leaf you want to create and what type of colors you want to use for it so here i am creating this cute looking really simple really flat and really you know really cute looking leaf right here and nothing complex now once you have your leaf you have to create a new layer now here we are going to be drawing um, some guidelines as to when I, when we are creating the uh, main animation we are not lost so i'm just creating these lines just to make sure i have some guide to follow when i'm creating the animation and you can just decrease the opacity because these are just guidelines so once you have those what you want to do is you want to duplicate the leaf layer and you want to hide the main layer so that just to just keep it in case you you know mess up something later so and right here what i'm doing is i'm just starting to adjust those leaves according to the guides that i have um, in the very first layer so i'm just gonna follow those guidelines and i'm just gonna rotate and place the leaf over those guides so that um it actually creates that motion of you know that leaf is actually falling off the tree so that's what i'm doing here i'm just gonna fast forward it so you can do the same you can just follow the tutorial and you can pause when i'm actually speeding the whole speeding up the whole process but then yeah you can still follow the tutorial so basically that's what i'm doing and it's fine if you're not like completely edge to edge um, following the guides it's just to guide you and nothing else so that's what i did now once you're done um, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna hide the guidelines and i'm just gonna um, um, enable animation assist and i'm just gonna play it and just gonna see how it looks it looks great so far but the animation is a little faster than i want it to be so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna decrease frames per second to maybe eight or maybe seven and yeah you have to kind of experiment with it as to what you like um on the basis of frames per second well you have three types of animation that you can choose one is loop one is ping pong and one is one shot so i always go ahead with loop you can also try out ping pong and one shot i'm not going to explain it in detail but you can actually try it out and see it for yourself how they go and how to actually animate your object the next thing is frames per second is obviously something how many frames you want to show up per second so that determines the speed of the animation and then we have onion skin frame now onion skin frame actually allows you to see the previous frame and hence the onion skin opacity which allows you to adjust the opacity of the previous frame that you have now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some speed lines to the animation so for that what i'm doing is i am actually creating a new layer and i'm just going to place it underneath each and every leaf layer that i have right here and then by using technical pen from inking brush set i'm just going to draw speed lines just um, behind the leaf so that it looks as if the leaf is kind of falling from the tree and once I create the speed lines, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select the layer uh, which has the leaf and the speed line. And I'm just going to um, create a group of those two layers. Now, in the Procreate animation, layers are equal to frames. And at the same time, if you create some groups, groups are also equal to frames. So one new group is equal to one new frame. So you have to keep that in mind while you're animating. Now, as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. And I'm also just, again, just going to adjust the uh, frame per second rate just a little bit because I want it to slow down a bit. And that's up to you again. So I kind of like that, but I want to add a little bit of something to this whole animation. So for that, what I'm doing is, again, just going into the groups one by one and creating new layers. And what I'm doing here is from Luminance Brush Set, I'm picking up light pen and I'm picking up really bright green color really light and bright green color and i'm just gonna create some glittery effect around the leaf just little dots around the leaves of this glitter or 
using this pen light pen and i'm just going to create this for each and every leaf that i have so again as i said each group is equal to one frame so i have so many groups and in one group i have one leaf and speed lines for them and i'm just going to create those a glitter effect in each and every group so that's something you have to keep in mind i'm just going to speeding up the process so i don't worry guys so yeah that's what i'm doing and once i'm happy with the results what i'm going to do i'm just going to again just test it out and see how the animation is actually looking so the animation looks good to me and looks really really cute and that's how i actually created this animation this is really simple you guys if you are a beginner you can actually do this now to export it obviously go to gallery share and then you can choose animated gif animated png or animated mp4 now it's up to you how you want to export it and i exported it in animated gif and i saved it on my ipad and here's our cute little leaf animation i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys the next time